The billionaire businessman Thaksin Shinawat broke the mold of Thai politics, winning landslide election victories by pouring money into rice subsidies, loans and healthcare schemes in neglected rural areas. But it all unraveled when he was accused of abusing his office and was ousted in a 2006 coup, sparking a power struggle between his supporters and the old elite that simmers under military rule in Bangkok today. Thaksin Shinawat is probably the most divisive figure in Thailand's long-running political crisis. He hasn't even set foot in his home country since 2008 because of a corruption conviction there that he says is politically motivated. He leads a globe-trotting life now, investing and even able to visit shopping malls. A far cry from the old days of mingling with prime ministers and presidents. He agreed to a rare interview and I asked him why he was speaking out now. Well, I've been quiet for too long and some, a lot of negative rumour against me is too much. And uh, I just, some, some, some people even said that uh, they're afraid of my return and revenge. I just want to talk that I'm, I'm I never want to revenge anyone. I always let, let, let bygone be bygone. And I just want to have to see the country moving forward. And I offer any kind of discussion or talk, I'm, I'm ready. But I don't set any kind of condition for myself. I just want to see the people, the, the country moving forward. Mr. Taksin has denounced a draft constitution promoted by the generals that has been widely criticized for taking power from elected politicians and giving it to the military and bureaucrats instead. He says he wants talks with the rulers in Bangkok to stop the country slipping towards ever greater authoritarianism. I, I, I made it clear that um, if they think that they're worried about me and they have to draft the entire constitution to against me. But it the the it affects the country in the future. Ability to to grow economy, ability to serve the people is not there with this kind of constitution. Mr. Taksin continues to dismiss widespread claims of corruption and rights abuses made against governments he led or directed, even though some of these allegations come from independent sources, such as rights groups. All the allegation is politically motivated. So, I, I don't care. I don't care. Mr. Taksin has to tread carefully with his sister and successor as Prime Minister, Yingluck, battling a criminal negligence charge that carries a jail sentence of up to 10 years. His intervention also risks angering the generals, who say they seize power to stop the country tipping into ever deeper conflict. I'm not challenging them. I'm not asking them that, hey, we have to fight. No, I never saying that. I just saying that any regime not particular this regime that I mean. I mean any regime that not respect the people will cannot last long. Mr. Taksin insists he doesn't want a confrontation with the military, but he's also making clear that he's not prepared to go quietly into retirement to tend his millions just yet. Michael Peel, Financial Times, Singapore.